season six of the Haas F1 team has returned. We welcome Daniel Ricciardo replacing the Frenchman Pierre Gasly. Daniel lines up next to his old pal Lando Norris and we're gonna see how Danny Rick performs in the best car on the grid. It's gonna be fun. It will probably change it up this season a little bit more. We'll probably do a little less full race watching, a little more speeding up. I mean, we're in season six. We're in the best car. That's not really, it's not really gonna change anything if we're being entirely honest. But that said, Bahrain is not but 76 days away and we have some things to take care of to make sure that our car is the best on the grid. Let's get this show on the road. First things first, bang, straight in. 54 days, perfect. The rest of these things as we go. Banging in a front wing now, the rest. Not gonna go as, as much more. Rear wing done, front wing done. I right, are immediately jumping in for some suspension, little cheeky suspension. 25 days, should be easy as. Cheeky little suspension action. Our underfloor design is in. Our new suspension also in. New ATR period starts, design, chassis. This one we're gonna split up a little more evenly. Second is not first, I agree. But you gotta start somewhere, where apparently every other team and their research is goaded. Ours are not. What we can do is bang, bang, two drivers into Q2. Bang, two drivers into Q3. Finish position one in the top four. Qualifying position streak. We're going two in the top six. Five times in a row. We're goaded. Goaded. Let's get it. Bomb rain. First round, season six. Let's get it. Here we go. We're going to hop on board with long, young Lando. It looks like the Red Bull and the Merc is faster than us. Botas, though. Spinning. Spinning. Here we go. Lando Norris. Time to... <laughs> I was gonna say try and put it on pole, but six and a half tenths is quite the gap, Lando. Quite the gap. Can we do it? The final run. Only a green first sector. Daniel Ricardo washed question mark. Or are we gonna see a repeat of real life when this pairing was at McLaren? It's looking maybe well likely. trying to revive Daniel Ricardo's career. Lando's not putting it on pole, but will we be able to move up at all? I am imagining we'll split the Mercedes, if I had to guess. Lando Norris, up to the line. Above the Mercedes. Daniel Ricardo P7. Ooh. I think that already broke our, our qualifying streak. That already broke our qualifying streak because I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I said top six. Uh, I said two in the top six. It's already over. It's over. I'm pretty sure that's like 600k. All right. That's, we're going to have to keep this in mind. Soft, medium, soft is the fastest, but if you can get speed out the mediums are grand. I think that's why we're giving Lando this one. We're going to see. We're going to give Danny Rick every opportunity in this one but we're gonna give lando probably the uh, the longevity of this one give him give him the medium tire got a two stop for both though no one stop in bahrain and this is it this is it season six it's arrived here we go it's lights out and away we go season six is underway Lando gonna have to go the long way around in turn one. Should have that inside line. Is it gonna be enough? Let's jump on board. Lay on the brakes. Going side by side. With an overtake there. One set of mediums on the whole grid. 
It's Lando. Oh, he's going to dive down the inside. Daniel Ricardo overtakes Pierre Gasly. Get in the bin, Pierre. If we can get into P2 here and split the Red Bulls, that's a draw. Unfortunate. Is that a new race Did the Red Bull. Oh, dude. Daniel Ricardo flying, by the way. Flying. The Red Bull in this mod looks good. Zoom in. All right, we bop it back down into neutral. We settle in. I'm okay running a little low on fuel here for Lando. Oh my God, they just, they just, they just fricked off. He just put three tenths into us between turn one and turn four. What is happening? They're gone, it's gone, it's over. Rip the dream. Lando, Daniel is faster than you. Are we team orderings this year? All right, we need to have on. We need to have a discussion. Are we team orderings this year? We didn't last year. Are we team orderings this year? Are we doing it by, we could do it per strategy not to play favorites. We'll do it. We'll do it per strategy. If Daniel messes up, it's per strategy. You got it. We're gonna wait until the back stretch. We'll do the back stretch and then we'll say let him by. So they don't lose too much time. All right, right here. Lando? Daniel is faster than you. Daniel is faster than you. All right, Danny Rick, let's go chase him down. DRS enabled. Honestly, this is probably better too because this will drag, hopefully, drag Lando forward. Lando is now behind the Mercedes. I think we might have messed up. I think we might have messed up. Now the Burke is going for Danny. Oh, this pass. Oh, what a what a horrific turn of events. Mercedes moved up a place. Maybe maybe uh, Botas will drag Danny forward. Thoughts? Thoughts? It's fine. We're vibing. We're chilling. We're chilling. He's only 2.3, 2.4 seconds, 2.5 seconds behind. 2.4 seconds behind. No, no, no. We're fine. I told you that we're we're literally on lap four. We're fine burning a little bit of fuel. We'll make it up in the back end. We'll make it up in the back end. We're fine. We're chilling. I've learned my lesson. Burn off the fuel at the beginning and you can earn it back later. Woo, both us trying to go all the way down the inside. All right, the Red Bulls have fricked off. They're gone. It's a race position gained for Mercedes. The biggest winner here is Lando. Lando getting stuck in this train is perfect. All right, let's see what happens when we do this. Honestly, getting both of these guys just kind of stick in this train and get dragged along sounds wonderful, especially if it's going to be by the Mercs, which are apparently the second fastest car on the grid, not us. It's good to know. The tires should do well enough honestly danny rick pretty solid on the tires this is what saving a set of tires does for you we have an almost 10 percent delta on tires compared to the rest of the grid we're flying Pass with an overtake there. all right the soft runners probably looking to pit around lap what is that 17 18 as long as we can make it to there we're chilling we have lost quite a bit of time to the Red Bulls ahead. But that's neither here nor there. Is that a new race position for Haas? Yes, sir, it is. 
at some point botas is going to realize that we have more tire and hopefully we'll just back off but this is not the time i'm sure it's a race position gained for mercedes look at the, look at the delta from botas to gasly by the way in the mud oh the little shimmy shake gets botas to the inside we're going the long way around we're ahead before turn one even begins we're zooming all right all right daniel san let's put in some work we need to pull down this delta we can't let the red bulls get that far ahead we do be zooming The new fastest lap here, new fastest lap, out of boy. The Delta has come down substantially. Well, Toss is right on our tails once more. Although we did shave off seven tenths. Five tenths. All right, the battling is not helping us here, Botas. Come on, let's work together here. Let's work together. Let's not go side by side and let the Red Bulls get another six tenths on us. Come on, at least give us DRS. Oh my God, and Botas gets DRS. That's bullshit. I call hacks. There's literally a train all the way through the points positions. Look at these three, three position groups here. Gasly a second out. Oh. I won't be languaged in my own chat. Thank you. All right, the tire delta for Lando hopefully is going to come good here in a moment. Not a whole lot really going on speed this thing up a little bit we'll get a little closer we'll let the tires come down a little more who are you chatting to it's a just chatting mate for Mercedes. Yep. Uh. if we could somehow break DRS to Gasly yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. You know, I don't have to do it, right? I could take that one out. I only let you... You only get to do that because I let you do that. Remember that. We are five seconds behind the Red Bulls. But I thought this is not the move. This is not, uh, this is not the way. We are six seconds behind the Red Bulls. <laughs> Woof. Uh, we have actually broken DRS to the Ferraris behind. That's actually kind of crazy. I think there's been a lockup. What do you mean how I messed it up? It's literally just a new season. We had the biggest technical regulation shift in the game possible, at least that I've ever seen. And apparently we just didn't do well enough to uh I think we just didn't do that much research. Here's the difference with your job to stay on top. We literally are on top. Red Bull cheated. Don't forget this. Red Bull broke the cost cap, so realistically, it's it's they're cheated. So realistically, we are currently leading the championship if we only include the teams that uh, didn't cheat. So you know. Also, let's jump over to Lando. Let's see if we can make some do some work with Lando here. Honestly, this medium or soft strat is looking to not really make that much of a difference because we're only going to be boxing like two laps after this with Lando. Leclerc in the pits. Leclerc in the pits. Botas in the pits. All right, Daniel. All right, Daniel. Let's go. Let's go. Let's push it. All 
right, Lando, we need to get by Pierre, please. We need to get by Pierre. Need to hold up the Mercedes, please, Lando. That's not how we do it. Both us all the way down there in P17, by the way. All right, and all right, Gasly in, Gasly in, Daniel box for mediums, box, box. Lando also entered his pit window. All right, that medium stent was not worth. The medium stent was not worth. The can repeat, not worth. Need as big a gap as possible. A big gap as possible. Thank you. Uh, we just want to make sure that Lando gets DRS from Daniel and then we can let him go. It does make things pretty spicy. All right, Lando's going to get DRS. He'll get the benefit of clean air and DRS. He will take the lead here in Bahrain. I understand that we still have the shit points. We are well aware of this fact. Honestly, Lando, box this lap. Box early. Box early, Lando. Boxing early. I believe. I'm going to try and box into this gap. If I can box into, like, this gap, we're vibing. We might have gotten undercut just a little bit, but at the end of the day, it'd be what it'd be. Lando in the pits. Daniel still right on the back of Botas. And realistically, nothing changed. Oh, they went to hards. Why'd they go to hards? Hey, uh, hey Daniel, we need to get by the hard runners, please. You're on the mediums. Daniel, I repeat, you are on the mediums. We'll shake it back. All right, let's disappear, Daniel. We really should not be battling with the hard runners. We need to be disappearing. Soft hard meaning that's the only thing I can think of. That is the only, literally the only thing I can think of. We were unable to break DRS. The only thing I can hope for is that we're going to be finishing on the softs for Pierre. But this is a horrific turn of events because we're now going to be dragging the hard runners with them. All right, Lando, son, let's go. See, Lando knows how to make it work. Send it. Dive bomb. Oh. New fastest lap, Lando Norris. Danny Rick should have the natural pace on the tire to hold off Botas. Lando, it would be nice. The problem is we just don't have we don't have the ERS to really uh, cause a problem. Our car in a straight line is not as good as I wanted it to be. 
you know that's how we built this team to begin with that's how we're going to build this team going forward we're going to make our car a rocket ship in a straight line and the corners will come naturally that said we lost so much time to the red bulls who are now nine and a half seconds ahead it looks like the red bulls are currently undergoing the season we had last season where we were quite literally the most dominant dude this is literally real life i play this game to escape this life this is literally how real life is ruining the sport where's the fia when we need him uh Here's the real racing stroll versus joe the true battles along with the williams no i wish we could see like the oh wow i wish we could see the facility levels of like all the teams i'd love to know because williams actually looks pretty good before the new major technical regulations came in and so I'd love to know like what their like car development facilities look like just because now they're literally in 16th and 18th in Bahrain and uh, that looks a little uh, sus. Van Dorn currently in P14 by P15 by the way. Zane Maloney in P14 by the way. Kevin Magnuson, the biggest L now in that Force India at the bottom of the grid. It's really unfortunate very unfortunate even best foursome still going strong we've gained a lot speed this up a little bit make literally eight and a half seconds 8.7 to eight and a half eight nine seconds away from points look at this gap <laughs> nine seconds ahead to the ferraris six and a half seconds behind to albon what a lonely race for Mick. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, we have a split strategy going on at Red Bull. Fascinating. He's just a poor boy in a shit alpha towery. Don't think so. Wanna bet? I bet you he comes back to Haas in 2028. Maybe in this alternate F1 universe. But he's going to win a championship. I do not want to see him in that Alpha Tauri. I do not. I refuse. If anything, I think Alpha Tauri will avoid taking another Mercedes reserve driver for a bit. And they'll put Lawson in the car. I mean, that's pretty much like foretold at this point. It might as well be at least. Twenty-seven laps remaining in this one. All the tires pretty much exactly the same, which means the mediums are just as good as the hards, or the hards are just as good as the mediums. But the problem is we have a 16, 17 second gap ahead to uh, the Red Bulls, which means they're basically gonna take their last pit stop and come out ahead of us and that's sad <laughs> well that's overtaking pierre or uh, pierre whoa that'd be the first in a long number of those this season i have to imagine daniel is back up into a p3 when does the next set of pit stops set to come in another five Six, seven, and like another six to seven laps. Oh, I was expecting it to be sure. I mean, there were some major technical like changes, but at the same time, like yellow flag. Who done it? Sounds like someone's lost. Maloney, uh, rip. Maloney back down in his natural habitat, doing absolutely breaking my heart down there in uh, P19. My life fell. 
Signs locking up right in, uh by locking up you mean maybe running like slightly wide so now he's just just ahead of Russell or even not see locking up all right we're starting to see some errors wow we are 23 seconds behind we are 23 seconds behind the red bulls are going to take their pit stops and still come out ahead of us that's so sad you know what this this is good the sport needed this you know when haas winning the championship this many years in a row they really needed to come in we're not okay on fuel and uh and take care of work you know all right save the fuel save the fuel get in the positive get in the positive get in the positive we won't have to worry about it later All right, Daniel's back in the positive. Venato in. <laughs> True. You know what we're gonna do? You know what we're gonna do? Box. Oh, Daniel doesn't have a fresh set of sauce. Never mind. You know what we're gonna do? Box, Lando, box. Box, box. We're gonna try and undercut both us. Daniel Box. And it's going to come out some clean air. Love to see it. P9. On a fresh set of softs. And away we go. I know, I just need to see this take green in your back. Quite literally. There we go. Nice. Daniel in. The hard runner is not in. Are they trying to go to the end? No, they would be fools. They're literally only on 40%. Lando undercuts Danny Rick. The undercut successful. All is returned to normal. That sounds like someone's gone wide there. Verstappen made his pit stop. Where's where is Charles Leclerc? There he is. Battling with this guy. Maloney, he's battling with Maloney. Lamau getting passed by an Alpha Tower, getting held up by an Alpha Tower. Things we love to see. He's in. Leclerc is in. We're stopping rounding the final corner. And Gasly, these one of these two has to be coming in, right? Like they just have to be. They're battling. Who comes in? Botas, Botas in the pits. Pierre, the Gasman Lee, continues on. The undercut on on Botas is incredibly successful for both of them. We love to see this. Look at this strategic masterclass. Look at the gap behind. A signs is even in between them. Mercedes in the mud. Which means Gasly has to be coming in now. You know what? What we make what we make up for in lack of technical speed, we make up for in strategic decisions. The Gasly comes in. He's in for his final pit stop. Lando flying in some clean air for once and should get to demonstrate his raw speed. Gasly battling with Russell maybe? No, just clear. One and a half seconds clear even. 
Lando only has a 17, almost 18 second gap to make up in the last 13 laps. Can he do it? Time to find out. Danny Rick, three seconds behind Lando. The undercut was fantastic, by the way. Lando literally undercut three drivers. Daniel, both Mercedes. Fantastic stuff. And we're off. You know, Danny Rick having a fantastic race, if we're being honest. Getting dragged along by the Mercedes was choice. Oh, this is going to be a tight finish, though, for Daniel. This is going to be a tight finish on, uh, on tires. This is going to be tight. We might dip a little below the recommended amounts. Mercedes may not be out of it just yet. Lando's going to be fine. Lando has plenty of tire to get to the end. Danielson, a little less so, if we're being honest at this point. We'll see. We'll see. Honestly, the, the gap behind... Sainz is now battling with Gasly and Botas, which is slowing him up, allowing Daniel a little bit more of a cushion. The problem we're going to run into is when the Mercedes finally do make it past Sainz for good. That's going to be the moment to watch out for as Gasly is flying, by the way. I'm now regretting <laughs> developing Pierre into such a dominant monster that he is. Because now he's okay. literally chasing okay. Leclerc spinning. Oh no, Charles. Mick still just outside the points. Unfortunate. Here we go. Not but a few laps remaining. Pierre Gasly on a four second gap to Daniel Ricardo. This is going to get a spicy. This is going to get very spicy. I think Pierre is going to catch Daniel. I think Daniel is ripped, is ripped in pieces because Pierre is uh, flying and uh, Danny is not. This is going to come down to who wants it the most. Oh, he's literally going to get DRS like next lap. He's literally going to get DRS on the final lap of the race. Here we go, Daniel. Push, Daniel. Push. You can do it, Daniel. Oh, this is... This is gonna be a heartbreaker. Oh, he's got DRS. Safe fuel, safe fuel. Understood. All right, Daniel, we're saving it all for the final lap. All right, Daniel, we're risking it all. We're risking it all, Daniel. Come on, Daniel. Come on, the lad. Alright, Lando, you just don't throw. Max Verstappen over the finish line and today's winner. Come on, Daniel. Come on, Daniel. So that is checkered flag, but you can keep it. Yeah, awesome job, everyone. Let's go, Daniel. Brilliant. Brilliant. Come on. Let's go! Copy that, just take all the pickups. That's how we do it, Daniel! That's yeah. how we do it at Haas. Well done, good drive. We step well, up when the moment well, arises and we take it. Zero. We accept nothing less.
That's a 3-4 for Haas, which is basically a 1-2 if you don't count the cheating Red Bull. Oh. Let's go. First race of the season in the books. We have second place clear in a way. Clear three positions, Daniel Ricardo. Lando couldn't even put, get one. Daniel makes up three positions. Lando makes up nil. He does finish on the podium though, so there is that. There is the driver's standings to start the season. What a season this is gonna be. A clear. <laughs> This is what it felt like last season for us, where it's like literally you're just getting the maximum points. Oh, I forgot we get fastest lap point back. Let's go. Let's go. It's gonna spice it up a little bit. Yeah, look at all those ones. One win, one podiums, one fastest laps, one pole positions. It's crazy. We got our fastest lap point back. We actually get to pay attention to it now. I mean, not that it was actually gonna pay like come in at all this season, but oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts so bad. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts so bad. Minus 670k. Oh, it hurts so good. Oh.